If you're on the My Real Estate Advisor Facebook page and you go down to where the photos are, you see all, you can see there there's tons of tons of photographs, interiors, exteriors, different buildings, um, floor plans. I mean, obviously, not going to use the floor plans probably very much because for each listing and stuff like that and they're unique but you've got a you've got a gist of interiors and exteriors that you can use for generic advertising so you want to get your leads coming in off domain as much as possible then line your buyer up with um whatever stock's available so all the st when when we do like an example of um if you've got um to log into the portal of Metro homes, for example, or something, somebody like that. And they've got a whole area coming up with stock. Then you can go, okay, um, let's put some nice photographs on. Let's um, let's upload some listings with, with just the suburb. Let's get some leads in. Let's get speaking to the people. Let's get them in front of a finance broker or the local bank or whoever you want to deal with. It doesn't really matter. <clears throat> I'm currently in talks with a finance company to actually set up a finance part of the business so we might end up doing it all in-house I've got a meeting on Monday about that so we'll see how that goes but anyway you've got the gist of it you you can put a lot of different photographs in there to, to sort of get grab people's attention and then you know you you basically once you've got them you, you're bringing them to the um, to the developers and the builders to then close the deal when they've got the finance organized as i say the finance side of it is is crucial without having the finance organized you're wasting your time and you're wasting the builder's time and everybody else's so um we've been doing the um form so you should have all been emailed the basic form you can change the logo on it to whatever you want but you want to ask them the questions first before you actually meet with them then you want to run that by your financial advisor or your broker and just say, look, is this worth me pursuing based on what these people have told me? Because they'll, they'll give you a run through and they'll say, OK, well, they've got so much saved up as a deposit. Um, they've got so many liabilities, they've got so many assets. Um, and then they'll, they'll do a basic idea of what they think they can borrow. And then they'll come back and say, yeah, it's probably worth pursuing this or no it's not worth pursuing this this person's got too much debt or they haven't got enough deposit or whatever it is and then you can just drop them then because you know it's not going to be worth your time but if they're not prepared to answer the questions on the form then um you know really they're not that serious because you from your point of view you're trying to offer an end-to-end -end holistic service where you're saying okay well we're going to have a look at your finance side of things first then we're going to put you with a builder that we recommend and we're going to try and get you the location and everything else that you've asked for and that's and that's what you want to try and do you want to try and offer an end-to-end -end service so that person hasn't got a chance to go to anybody else because you're going way above and beyond what a normal agent would bother doing so that's what you want to be aiming to try and do you want to be aiming to try and um cover everything from end to end so I hope that helps a little bit.